Section 17. End of the Universe. Big Crunch. But what is that big crunch possibility? That is an end to expansion, followed by a contraction, all the way to a hot, dense state, like the Big Bang. That can be the end of some universe, or that universe might bounce and start a new hot, dense expansion. This is called a big bounce. A universe can end in big crunch if curvature is positive and either there is no dark energy, no cosmological constant, or dark energy has W more positive than minus one-third and the positive curvature has a suitable value for R0. These are not the case for our universe. We will not end with big crunch or big bounce. Most data suggests that W is in the range minus 1 to minus 1.06. However, one recent article had weak data suggesting that W might be in the range minus 0.62 to minus 1. But this is still more negative than minus one-third, so no big crunch, unless dark energy is completely wrong. Let's see how big crunch is a possibility for some other universe. W being more positive than minus one-third makes the dark energy density decrease faster with expansion scale factor than the positive curvature term. At some maximum scale factor, the right-hand side is zero, with this term matching that term to produce zero. Expansion halts and contraction begins. This universe will end in a hot, dense, big crunch. For an example, W equals minus 0 0.3, not our universe, and positive curvature, expansion would halt 200 billion years from now, contraction would begin, and this universe would end in a hot, dense, big crunch. Once contraction begins, nearby galaxies would be blue-shifted, while very distant galaxies are still red-shifted. When the big crunch is near its end, here, the cosmic microwave background will be so blue-shifted that it will be brighter and higher temperature than the outer layers of stars, and will heat stars from the outside in. Soon thereafter, this universe would end in a hot, dense state. Another possibility is that dark energy density is a function of time or scale factor that we have not yet discovered. And our universe might end in a big crunch or big bounce. There's no evidence for this presently, but cosmologists include it as a possibility. This is the end of my material about the possible futures for the universe. Next, we will look at the past.